How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today I'm going to show you what's been going on and I'm also going to explain to you how to get a hold of me for live chat. Okay, so we'll start off with the live chat thing. Uh, a lot of you guys email me on YouTube on the messages. I'm not talking about the comments, I'm talking about the private messages on YouTube. I don't answer those, my phone does not alert me to those, uh, so don't do that. You need to either leave a comment if you don't want to see it everyone to see it publicly you need to go to my Facebook Nathan's DIY garage and leave me a message on there PM me on there that's the easiest way my phone runs that live and what that's gonna do whenever you write the question it's gonna ding on my phone now you have to understand also a lot of times I'm working on stuff I can't answer it right away uh, but usually within the hour I'll get back to you sometimes within 30 seconds if I'm standing there with my phone in my hand I'll always answer it uh, for you guys that need uh, more help, uh, I take a lot of phone calls. I cannot put my number up on here. I have to PM you that. Uh, if you're in a bad situation, uh, you could also do that. Okay, so we're still working on the X5. We have pretty much everything done. Uh, we need to put the sway bar in. We need to go ahead and clean the brake disc off. They're full of rust. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the future. And pretty much everything else is done. Let me lift this thing up. And we don't have the cowl back here in. We're leaving that off to the very end. We have all the coolant bottle, the radiator. We also have everything else in. The only thing we don't have on here is the air box. And we don't have the clutch fan and the shroud in yet. Uh, so this thing does uh, start up and run. Uh, we need to do these few things. We need to go ahead and we need to fill up the transmission. Put fluid in the transmission. This brake caliper needs to be put on yet. And we need to hook up the dry shaft. And we're pretty much done. Now after that, we go ahead and take her for a test drive. And that's going to be the telltale sign on whether the transmission is good, which is an unknown situation. Now we did have problems yesterday when I put coolant in it with it leaking it was actually leaking out of these heater hoses a couple little leaks so we have those fixed we have those replaced and uh, other than that everything seems like it's going pretty good we filled up the power steering fluid reservoir no problems uh, we do have a problem with the dipstick this dipstick was broken and uh, so we couldn't use it so I just stuck one from the I don't know, from a uh, M54 in there. It's not long enough. We know that. I just want something to stick in it to keep pieces from falling down in the dipstick and also to seal that vacuum leak by not having a dipstick in it since this thing is still running the original CCV. So I'm trying to do today's video, get this thing posted for you guys. Yesterday there was not one, and I hate that, but I've been so wrapped up in this X5 and everything else going on here that it's hard for me to get everything done in one day. It's been really hot here in Missouri. Uh, today it's around 96 with high humidity. Um, you can only work outside so long when it's that hot, especially in the sun. You can see in the video I'm all sunburnt and all fried from the sun. Uh, there will be more videos up shortly. We do have the water pump in for the 528 and I have not had time to compression test or do anything to the 318. Uh, here in a little bit I need to leave and go pick up that 530. Had some kind of meltdown, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Uh, I'll definitely have a video up on it tomorrow. And we also still have the rear control arm sitting here for the E53. Uh, we need to put those damn things on. I have not had time to even touch that car. And it is wearing the rear tires on the inside. So it needs to be done this weekend, the next day or two. Uh, we'll probably just take some time out in the morning or in the evening and just try to get it done and get the video up for you guys. That's a real common problem on E53s, and uh, I'll for sure show you guys how to do that. 